Yeah. And this is your house? <laughs> yep, this is my house. It, a... it looks like the South African Embassy. Look but... at this. <laughs> <laughs> so they all say, thanks to the World Cup. Okay, okay yeah, please, come on in. Welcome to the house. Today, it's Dua. It's South African jazz. Now this is the kind of harmony I want in my house. Sviso Tuli is a cultural facilitator who connects people to the heart and soul of South Africa through music and with his personal journey through apartheid. To Soweto, welcome to the Queen of Soweto, Regina Mundi Church. This is a place which in many respects changed who I am, many of us. This church is very significant. This was our Freedom Square, the Parliament of the People. This is a place where you could gather everybody. It's the only place where we felt safe. Sa well, we felt we were safe. Spisa was just a boy in 1976 when bullets from the apartheid police flew through the church. He took his rifle and he slammed it against the altar here. And see there's some bullets, bullet holes over mm -hmm. there. Um, the hands of Jesus have been shot off. But it's happier now. <laughs> it's happier now. <laughs> In a very happy space. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, you know years ago, we could not stand like this. Yes. He's black, you're white, I'm colored. There's even a Liberty Bell here. Ooh. Well, freedom rings here and there, yes. right? And in Africa as well, eh? And a South African symbol of freedom. The you know, site of the 2010 happiness. World Cup. From the nightmare that I grew up in. Apartheid, which was basically a bunch of gangsters that were running this country. When I see this, I'm like, damn, we've come a long way. And how long away? On the very street of conflict in 1976. A 13-year-old schoolboy. Well, I was 13. We met students. Our parents didn't get this education that we're getting. And we are all equal, you know. Yes, guess what? They're using iPads. We used to have slate. Technology is taking South Africa to a new level. And we sat in front of Nelson Mandela's house. Come on, just say Mandela rocks for me. Round, loud. Yay! Hey High five. Five. <laughs> there, that's what excites me. And I look at the children and I know, just like we knew when we were young, they will see a beautiful country. I think that's what made cats like Mandela be prepared to say, you know what? I'm prepared to go to prison for this. We did not only fight for freedom for black people, also for white people. We, we come from a blinkered past. You know, you're black, you're white, you're Zulu, you're Jewish, you're this, you're that. Just like what is an American. We continue to geographically define ourselves or we define ourselves as a people. The success is when I see all the children of my country and the world having a ball here. Do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. 